In this video, we are going to be buying some things off of Pinterest ads. Oh my goodness, it's $159. I have to go into the shower. Oh my I have a feeling that my credit card information will 100% be stolen if I do this. So today we are doing a very exciting video. In this video, we are going to be buying some things off of Pinterest ads. Now I've done this exact same video concept, but for Instagram ads, and it had me thinking like, I've been Pinteresting the house down. And I've really started to notice the sheer mass of ads there are on Pinterest. You might not even notice them because they're disguised as Pinterest worthy pictures, but underneath it, it will say like promoted by, and it's an ad. Do they know what I want based on all this Pinterest searching I'm doing? We'll see today. I have it like so dialed in on my aesthetic. I love my Pinterest so much. Like seriously, these little teddy bears in this corner. So basically, from what I know, this would be an ad. So when it says like promoted by, we have this one and we also have this one. So let's look at them. Loving this new body brush for PMD beauty. There's literally an attachment for every inch of skin. Ooh. Let's see. Now, okay, I don't actually use a loofah. I just use my hands. I don't know if that's gross. I don't think so. But this would definitely be a step up. I'm kind of confused. Why does it have a USB charger? Oh my goodness. It's $159. Do they ship to Canada? Remember when I was freaking out about the price? Well, now it's actually $199 now that I switched it to Canadian, so. It got worse. But I mean, it seems pretty high tech, so I'm willing to try it and risk my money instead of yours. Ooh, very high tech looking. It looks very profesh, I like this box. Okay, on the back there are like these three, it looks like metal, but it's actually plastic. And then the front is this silicone brush. And then of course there is the loofah attachment. I think these pop off. Yeah, so these are like the spots for different attachments and they're all magnetic. Wow, and that's very nice and soft too. So I'm gonna plug this in and I'm gonna let it do a full charge and then we can take it for a spin. Alrighty, we're filming in the bathroom today. I honestly was trying to figure out how I should test this. And I was like, I have to go into the shower. Somewhere along the way, I lost the most important attachment for this, which was the loofah. I have no idea where it went. I told Stuart I was filming in the shower and he was like, what? Don't worry about it. Let's just get in there, shall we? Okay, let me turn the shower on. It's so cold. I don't know why I decided to film this in the shower, but I also don't know how else I would have tried it. So just prepare yourself for some chaotic footage. In the shower, shower haul. Okay, so I'm just gonna put some body wash on this. All right, I click this button. Oh gosh, I feel like this would be good for my legs. My legs are so dry. Wow. I basically feel like this wand is for people who are obsessed with skincare and love spending time on it. And it's like therapeutic for them. Like they genuinely enjoy it because it is pretty pricey. It does work pretty good and it seems good quality, but I don't feel like I need it. Okay, I'm just gonna snap on the exfoliating part. Apparently this is good for like elbows and heels, like where there's cracked skin. Yes, this is nice on the heel. I have no idea what the use of this is. I don't understand this one. Maybe on my face, ow. And with that, we will stop this weird shower footage. Yes, we will, and we will never do this again. Okay, now we have a promoted by Tushy. Refresh your whole home with Tushy. Wait, what? I think this is a bidet. I, I don't think it needs a plug-in. You just attach it with a water hose. <gasps> what? I mean, okay, let's try it then. Oh good, and they do ship to Canada. All right, we're doing good. Pinterest has us like being really clean, it feels like. A body scrubber and now a bidet. What are you saying, Pinterest? Bum, this is for my bum. Now I placed the order for this off camera and I didn't realize till after I placed the order, but I accidentally clicked a box that I actually wanted two bidets. I really don't know how it happened, but just as I suspected, 
There's two in here. The box says, please recycle me. Who knows, we may see each other again. That's so cute. I love Aww. when inanimate objects talk to me. Oh my. I hope there's an instruction manual because I need it. A plumbing thing. Oh gosh. Is this gonna be hard to do? Oh, this is all the bidet is? I thought it was gonna be way more robust than this. This looks pretty simple, actually. Okay, so we're at the toilet, toilet hall. So the first step is put your hair up. And then the next step is to make sure your toilet is compatible. I feel like I should have done this before purchasing it, but I'll do it now. Uh, yes, I am able. Okay, perfect. Oh gosh. Okay, now I empty the toilet. Let me not flush it directly in my face. <laughs> I'll be your assistant. Scalpel. There we go. Ew. <laughs> That's okay. Then that's horrible. <laughs> that's horrible. <laughs> ah! Oh God! It's just so gross under here. Gross. Oh! Oh! That is disgusting. Okay. You're my hero, you did that without dry heaving. Like, I literally couldn't do it. Anyways, we got that piece off. I'm surprised we can do this plumbing on our own. Oh, there's the water. By the way, mom, we haven't done anything <laughs> yet. <laughs> okay, you got the hair. So hold this whole thing. I think we should call dad. Two seconds later. Wait, going to the left is loosening it? Yeah, if you spin to the right, you're tightening it. Loosening it. I think we might have been tightening it. Attach your tushy to the bowl. If you're asking me if I would wish this upon my worst enemy, <laughs> the answer is no. Now we want to slide the toilet seat back on. What was this for, I wonder? One eternity later. And just like that, your bidet is ready to go. Oh, sweet. It's happening up there! It's happening! It is happening. <laughs> what if we ruined the toilet? The toilet's ruined! A few moments later. We have a fearless woman <laughs> who's gonna try out the bidet. Do I turn this dial? <laughs> Can I just say that I'm very shocked and surprised that my mom let me film her reaction to the bidet? I literally was like, Can I film this? And she was like, Absolutely. No questions asked or anything. You know what? It's good. Like, it's actually a really good bidet. I, I think it's good. The reviews around the house are raving. We're yeah. loving it. If I had one thing I would critique, I wish the water was warm. <laughs> this feels all the way TMI, but honestly, if I was thinking about buying a bidet, I would want this review. If I had to install another one today, I could do it way faster now. I think the first one was just difficult because it was out of my normal expertise. <laughs> Okay, let's keep looking. Okay, so we already have two more ads. One for crispers and one for high smile. I've already reviewed high smile on the channel, so I'm not going to do that again. And then like, what? Do they just want me to eat crispers? Cause I'll do that. But I could do a taste test. <laughs> sure. I already know what you're thinking. Mia, why did you buy every single flavor? Because I'm extra. Okay, crispers aren't like a new thing to me. I've definitely eaten them before. I feel like they were a quintessential for a long car ride in Canada. But we have a lot to try, so I'm gonna invite a food critic in to help us. So we have Mama Maples here today, <laughs> the food critic. 
Let's try a Canadian classic, ketchup chips. I feel like the rest of the world thinks this is super weird, but we definitely are used to a ketchup flavored chip. So it's a wiggly little chip. Mmm, I like that. Those are very good. Next, cheddar. Cheddar, who won't like cheddar? <laughs> And that's not dramatic. That's good. Mm. Salt and vinegar. I don't like salt and vinegar. Let's see. Mmm. Where's the vinegar, babe? Dill pickle. I love dill pickle. Mmm. That is good. That's a great one. They've got the. I don't know why I thought taste testing every single flavor of crisper wouldn't be incredibly repetitive and kind of boring. But it was. Even with Mama Maples being entertaining, it still was a lot of crisper taste test. So I'm just speeding it up all a little. The crispers are starting to taste similar. <laughs> this is all dressed. So these are the ones I had most recently. Cause Stuart actually bought them on a road trip. And I was like, crispers? <laughs> and then I ended up eating like the whole bag. So they're very flavorful, this one. I'm tasting bacon. Okay, I don't like barbecue, mm. so I can already tell you that I'm probably gonna not like this. It tastes, you know what this tastes like? Hickory sticks. True. First. Yay! Yes! Second. Yay! <laughs> Third. I just say that I am astounded that every crisper looks so similar. I just took every crisper out of the bag for scientific research and I realized all oh, but the ketchup one pretty much looks the exact same. They don't completely fit together. Did you know that? And then we proceeded to have a competition for who could guess which flavor was which without having any frame of reference of which one it actually was. What about the fact that I have no way to know if you're right or not? <laughs> right. One, two, two three, three ranch. Cheddar. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm having a hard time remembering what they all are. Oh my gosh. Okay, this, I've wanted one of these, but they're so expensive. Okay, let me check it out. Okay, this is a brand called Hector. Wait, what? This says it's $53? There is literally no way. Okay, yes. Okay, this is the legit one. It took me a second to find it, but here it is. It's called the Dream Box, and it's super expensive. $3,249. So I'm a little bit confused as to how this one is $53. I have a feeling that my credit card information will 100% be stolen if I do this. That it is my job <laughs> to make sure people know if things are sketchy or not. So like I always say, we're gonna risk it so you don't have to. Here I am putting my credit card information <laughs> in. Order is confirmed. Why oh, she did that. <laughs> We've got another one promoted by Left on Friday. I'm guessing this is a swimwear company. I mean, this is a cute swimsuit. You guys were like telling me that I looked good in red recently. So I almost feel like I should go red. You guys are giving me like fake confidence. I'm gonna get a top to match. Oh my, they're $100 each piece. $200 for this whole swimsuit? Wow, jeez Pinterest. Okay, the Left on Friday package has arrived. Comes with this little Left on Friday swim bag. All right, let's see. Here it is, 46% nylon, 38 polyester, made in Taiwan. Okay, so obviously we're gonna put it on, but for right now, here's what it's looking like. The only thing I don't love is there's no padding. It's just two pieces of fabric sewn together. So I do appreciate that, that it is double lined, but I do like the option to have padding, even just a removable piece. So people who don't want it can remove it. People who want it can put it here. That would be helpful for my personal swimsuit wants. Ooh, I'm really liking the shape of these. They're very high waisted and it looks like it'll be a little bit cheeky on the back. So I feel like I'm really gonna like this. I think my only con is gonna be the padding, but let's try it on and see what we think. 
Okay, here I have that swimsuit on. This swimsuit is so soft and so cute. It's not pinching anywhere. When I think about my perfect swimsuit, I do really like this shape of top for me personally. Obviously everyone's wants are gonna be different. I don't really have boobs and I like to run around. So this is kind of a good athletic swimsuit top for me. And I don't really care how popular low-waisted things get. I like high-waisted things. I don't want to show my boot online either, but every time I try a swimsuit, if I don't show it, everyone's like, show us the back! So here you go. Here's the back. High-waisted. It's a little bit cheeky. It's cute and flattering, I think. And there is no clasps or adjustable straps. I do like the option of adjustable straps, but I like how like simplified and sleek the swimsuit is without it. And I think I just got lucky because it fits me like a glove. I would be curious to know why this set is so expensive. Like I would definitely be hoping that this is ethically made if it's that price tag, because I have no problem paying a little bit more, but there has to be a reason for it. This is the Sky Store, and it took me to a comb knife, but it was actually for this bazooka bubble thing. I don't need this, no, but I have to for the video. Like, are we sure this isn't just full of air? I probably shouldn't throw it around like that. When this got delivered to the house, my mom was like, why are you buying a bubble blower? <laughs> I'm an adult and I can spend my money on the things I want. And there's nothing you can say about it. Okay, here's everything that came with it. We have some bubble stuff and the bubble tray, a rechargeable battery, which is awesome, and then these stickers to stick all over it. Now I have really high hopes for this, so I'm gonna test it outside. All right, so we're gonna stick this in here, and then let's see. <gasps> oh! oh my gosh, like what? Oh! That's insane. So I thought it wasn't gonna work. <laughs> okay, that is a good tool. <laughs> okay, so the first blast is definitely the best, and then it kind of like peters out. That is so fun. It's so fun! It's different colors. In the dark, that would be insane. The bubbles would look so pretty. Okay, we have our next thing. It's for postery, and it looks like this picture was what they were trying to sell me. I'm not really a coffee drinker, so this doesn't really relate to me. Apparently I need it. We are a Swedish brand committed to bringing you uniquely designed art prints and frames. We strive for a sustainable future. Therefore, we aim to reduce our environmental impact and ensure that our products are made to last. Cool. Wow, look at that. I am loving the way that looks. Honestly, looking at it, it looks hand-painted. I know it's a print of a hand-painted thing, but this looks like the original. I feel like I can see the brush strokes. I really like it. I'm pretty sure I have a frame that will fit this. He has a picture, but I could remove the picture. But it's a little bit bigger. So this has to go right in the middle. Okay, let's see how it looks with the big white border. Ooh, it looks cute. Okay, I've always felt like I need something here. So this will be perfect. And then everyone who visits will know I absolutely love coffee. I think maybe this will be the last one. This is promoted by Ruggable. Now I have heard about Ruggable so much and I've actually seen some of your guys' comments for me to review it. So this is a perfect time to do so. It's basically rugs, but one of the big things with it that I've noticed anyways, is that you can put them into the laundry machine apparently. I actually do need a runner. Wow, there's so many options of rugs. Okay, see like I like that one. I kind of like this one. Ooh, yeah, I like this. $261 Canadian. Okay, let's go for it. Exciting news, the Ruggable box has arrived. Let's see. Alrighty, here it is. Oh, right, this is floral. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. Can you see it? Oh, you can't even see it. 
Okay, here's what it looks like laying out. I'm loving the colors. It looks exactly like the product photo online. And on the tag it says, live first, wash second. Okay, a few things to note with this. Because it can fit in the washing machine, just as I suspected, it is very thin. So like if you're looking for that thick pile squishy rug, it kind of seems like ruggable's not the spot. I actually think this mat is gonna add some of the like comfort to it because it's nice and squishy. All right, we are downstairs into the topsy-turvy hallway. This is the flooring that I would like to cover. Okay, but I have the mat and the rug. Let's do it. We have the gravy part against the floor. Oh wow, look it. It like sticks. Why am I so fascinated by this? Alrighty, let's see. Oh my gosh! Oh my goodness! It looks amazing! I really do enjoy the sticky pad. Like, this thing is not gonna move. In fact, I should test it. I'm gonna run and jump onto it. Not moving. <laughs> Didn't move. <laughs> it's not going anywhere. But yes the rug. It is soft, it's just not squishy, and it will not move, and it's very beautiful and looks just like the picture. You know what, actually, I feel like I need to wash it. I know it's not dirty, but it's for science. Okay, a little update on the rug after it washed. It looked the exact same, and it felt the same, and it fit good in the washing machine, so I was happy. Where is the $50 craft box? Hmm. Why didn't that deliver? Basically, my concerns on that being too good to be true were correct. Here I sit a month and a half later with no craft box that was $50. If I was giving advice, I would say not to shop on this Hector site. But other than that, I think Pinterest suggested some pretty awesome products. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to click the subscribe button. And if you haven't had enough yet, make sure to watch when I bought Instagram ads. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.